Bonjour, hello, you join me just in front of the Max Mountain World Global Headquarters. I'm going to just set up the Moxon antenna as I've set it up in various places. I'm going to set it up in the edge of the garden right in front of the residence here. Leave it pointing north and I'm hearing whispers of stuff coming in tonight so hopefully I can get occasional signals or more signals than the other antenna and I can compare the two and see what happens. So I thought I'd just do a little video of me constructing the antenna from the car closed to me ready to tune up. And inside I've got the mounting poles here diagonally. I don't need seating space because I'm not carrying passengers in the current climate. I have the crossbar behind and the actual antenna there with all the fixed things, tools etc in the boot. So. Turn it south. There's a, an unwritten Murphy's Law. You always start with the wrong side first. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now for the easy bit. The cross beam. Each member is coded to match up one, two, three, and zero. So it's always set up exactly the same. And the cable set up the same. And loop it over the other way. It's look nice for dry clothes. Yeah, maybe a bit too electrical. <laughs> right. Again, it only needs to be finger tight. Lift it over and let's set it up. One. Now I'll start to take the shape of the Moxon antenna now with the third one. It gets a bit tough. This is what gives it the tension to keep the antenna straight if the wire is the actual antenna. Antenna. Okay. As you can see, it's really light. I think it's about three kilos or something. Then only needs to be finger tight. Okay. Run the clocks up for the aerial connection. Standard SO238 to PL259 connection. A little bit of slack.
The blue one? Yeah. Ah, c'est ça que j'entendais. Ouais. Bing, bing, bing. Non. Be another one later. I'm going to put to the front anchor points of the car. I'm going to leave it up tonight and do some testing. So Ta-da! So just an added security onto the, the towing hook, a couple of straps set up. This one is just temporary, so while I was actually setting this up, this is basically just to hold it in place, stop it falling over behind my back. But this is what's really holding it in place, and yeah, sturdy as anything. So if you have the car with the little antenna, I've got that down in the garden in front of Global Headquarters and probably need a bit of background to see the antenna itself set up on top of there. So we're going to have a look at the scale of this. This is about two meters, maybe just under two meters below the road that I've got at the bottom of the mounting pole and yeah there it's there. I'm going to leave it set up north this evening, almost walking into a plant pot there, and I can do some comparisons with the other antenna, and uh, we'll see how we get on. That should be interesting. Weather forecast is good, but the extra strapping and stuff just makes absolutely certain. So I'm just standing out in the middle of the road as I've uh, finished that last scene. And uh, yeah, because I can, because there's nobody here. Brilliant, so uh, all the toys come out to play. You can see behind me the, the state of the sky this evening. It's changed already in about 20 minutes since I actually started with this. And uh, you can see it's still quite a bit hazy, but a nice blue sky up behind me here. 
and uh, over to the west or west to southwest, the mountains behind, just begin to change into some really nice colours. So that's the video, how to get the, the moxin up in my system, as it were. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down there, click on the thumbs up, the thumbs down, make comments below. When you've actually subscribed, if you have subscribed already, many, many thanks. Much appreciated. When you do subscribe, you'll get the little warning thing comes up. You can click on that for further notifications, the old bell for some further notifications of Max Mountain World, further notifications of uploads that I do. So I'll just finish off here and quickly just have a look what it's like from the side of the road and walk in towards it and see how it looks. on the mountain behind. This is the Busalenk mountain behind where uh, there was a, a radio activation. These guys actually walked up there 2,838 metres if I remember rightly and uh, started operating radios from the top there. I did meet up with them later and uh, I'll put a link in above to the video that we did. One point four. One point six.